I am still recovering from Marty's last appearance on my show. Listen, for someone who has to deal with all that charm on a daily basis, you're holding up remarkably well. Congratulations and have a very happy 60th birthday. I love you both. How do, you know, my husband is a major kook. You make Carl, he, Marty makes Carl appear sane. He makes Absolutely. everybody appear sane. Appear sane. <laughs> is it very frustrating? Yeah. You know, the thing is, as I said, uh, humor is very important to me. I mean, I... Me too, I, I understand yeah, that. Yeah, I, I need that. I need that. And the fact is, is that we're very good for each other. Um, you know, I mean, I'm pretty solid and as you said Marty's insane so we do we do help each other no nah, but it is frustrating in answer to you oh question. yeah very oh yeah I know mine is yeah I <laughs> Shirley grew up in a, I'm also a Pennsylvanian Shirley grew up in a small town in Pennsylvania Smithtown what was it like Smith Tun T-O-N Smith Tun what was it like 800 people it little, is small. little tiny town on the uh, Yakageni River Near, is that near Pittsburgh? Yeah, but 30 miles south of Pittsburgh. What did and, the family um, do? We were in the beer business. My grandfather built a brewery in Smithton, and my, my father uh, and his brothers, there were, four, there were eight in the family, four girls, four boys. My, my grandmother had eight children, worked the brewery, and it was really the business in the town, you know. And, and uh, a great fun, it was right on the river, and I remember as a child, you know, a lot of children, you know, you know play with blocks and ride their bicycles. Well, I, I played near the vats and then the bottling house and, <laughs> you know, on the railroad track because it was on the railroad. Here, here, give her that so she can, in case she needs to play. All right? Open it up. Look at it. Oh, my gosh. Well, Look at that. <clears throat> this is the beer. This is the name of the beer, The name right? of the beer. And the company sold it. There it is. That's Stoney's it. Stoney's. Stoney's beer. Wonderful beer, by the way. Oh, and that's a great. Do we have a bottle of that stuff? There's here. Is it the family beer? Great. Okay. Oh. Just wanted to make sure. Sony Light and Sony. Now that's great. You have such a goody two shoes image. Yet you say you were a rebel. That you were like kind of a bad kid. At oh, very. Yes. I, really? I, oh, yeah. I really was. What kind of bad kid could you be? Well, I, I was an only child. I'm an only child, and uh, <clears throat> I was a real tomboy. You know, a real. I rebelled against any kind of authority. I mean, I. My mother would dress me up in a beautiful party dress on a Sunday afternoon after church. You know, and I'd go out and come back with it ripped apart. You know, nose bloody. I'd been in a fight with about ten boys. <laughs> You know, if anybody crossed me or did anything, I mean, I was right there with the fists. You know, I climbed the trees, and I was that kind of a kid. And gave my mother a terrible time. I mean, my mother was a very strong disciplinarian. She was the disciplinarian in the family, and she wasn't about to give in, and nor was I. So it, that meant that every single day of my life, up until I was nine years old, I got some kind of a whipping of You sorts. know, they would call that child abuse. I was just going to say, you know, today they would call it a child abuse because, I mean, I was constantly, my, you know, whatever she could grab, the fly swatter, the hairbrush, you know, whatever, you she know. I, oh, yeah. So it was a battle. It was a constant battle. Something about Shirley is, is that she is so, as I say, good and so sweet. There's got to be somewhere inside a core of iron that comes from that little girl who was not so good and so sweet. We want to hear what, uh, I think you're going to be surprised as to what she's up to this day. We'll talk about that when we come back. <laughs> Don't forget, this is Shirley's birthday. And what she doesn't know is that we know that. And that her stepson David and her three sons, Sean, Patrick, and Ryan, are here. They're going to help her celebrate. It's a real surprise. Stay with us.